So today wasn't my day. I tried to do another prison heist, but it didn't work out. I kept failing my stealth mission again and again to the point that I ran out of my resources. Just amazing. Fight them here like this with healing items. This is just a waste of resources. This is just waste of the few resources that I got. Okay, so my healing items, baby. My healing items, my healing, my armor, my armor here. Why did I even come here, dude? Oh my goodness. Yo, guys, it is me, Happy Sark, and welcome back to Last Earth Survival. So today we're gonna be doing this prison event on my free-to-play account. So I still haven't even went there, so most likely we are just gonna get kidnapped in this account and yada yada. So I brought a little bit of weapons here with me and don't worry, we have enough guns in this account. I've done enough bunker alpha, so I think we should be able to do at least one prison heist. I wanna see how efficient it's going to be and maybe I'll even be able to finish here a couple of tasks to progress further inside of like this free-to-play pass or whatever. But in the beginning, they're giving us a free katana and 10 first aid kits, which I think are kind of cool. I wouldn't say that this season rewards for free-to-play players are really that great. I mean, and I'm judging like these rewards literally just by my account here and only level 85 here. I haven't spent a single penny in this account because that's just entire point of free to play account. And I wouldn't say that rewards here are really that great. I mean, there is no tactical backpack, which would be really useful here on this account. And the rest, I mean, you're just getting a couple of guns. I really honestly think that rewards here aren't that, gr aren't that great besides like those like 10 first aid kits. And yeah, I really don't think that free to play rewards this season are that great. So whatever, maybe at least prison high rewards are going to be better. Maybe that gasoline is going to be super worth it because on my main account I have enough guns and whatever and I kind of lose track on how many weapons we're using here but on this account it will be a lot easier as I don't have any modded weapons or anything. So let's just get kidnapped for the first time on this account here. Boom, bone breaker. Yes, yes, we have a scout here. I'm going to get punched in the face. I'm going to get thrown in the jail, baby. Boom. Just with one punch I, get, I got knocked out. So hey, are you okay? Yes, yes, yes. I'm fine. So we're going to do one more time like the same. Uh, we're just going to try to escape this prison. That's what I'm trying to say here. Okay, so I'm gonna step away from the cell. Okay, so here quickly a man is hurt. You can actually even hear him bumping on the wall. So here we go. He's gonna open it up and what am I gonna do? He got enough? Want some. So what am I gonna do? Let's say if I'm gonna try to escape this place. Oh, so he's gonna beat him up. Okay, so I didn't I didn't know that and he just has a zip gun so it's pretty easy to go and loot this guy. Oh, we, we cannot even loot him but I mean it's pretty easy to get out of there. I don't understand what are these cells like. Oh wait, I just... What's up with that? What is going on? What did I just do there? I don't get it. Why am I sneaking? What? What happened? Why did I get inside of that cell? I don't understand, guys. I honestly had no idea what's up with this. But here we go. We have like this metal cutter bill guy. I'm really surprised. Why did that cell even open up? Did I hide here for some reason or whatever? Okay, let's get out of here. Goodbye, bikers. And now we're gonna go to the biker's camp. Okay, so he just beat me out with this chopper. Well, that was kind of fun. I have no idea why was I able to get inside of that cell just to hide maybe like from some raiders from the future heists. I have no idea. But here we go. We have like this biker's base. And probably the biggest problem in doing like all of these tasks is just going to be energy because a lot of events are gonna spawn and we'll have to use a lot of and a lot of energy. I mean, right now we have 200 energy because while well, everybody's stuck at home, developers increased the energy limit from 100 to 200, but after that, it's just gonna get reduced. So, yeah, I mean, all of these tasks just for five gasoline. Well, we will see how it's gonna be. Okay, so the guy is now just gonna give us another tour of this entire base. This is the board. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. We're definitely gonna start doing the stealth mission just first of all. Oh, no, I will have to repair the box here. Are you kidding me? I totally forgot about this. Should have brought more resources already. And here we go. Now he introduced me here to the boys, which obviously we're not going to be able to get here on this account. And even on my main account, I still haven't gotten them, but I think we'll definitely check them out one day. Okay, so that's it. We are kind of done. I'm going to definitely start the stealth mission here. And I do assume that all of the tasks are the same. Oh, every time the chest is different. Okay, so I get it. I get it now because I thought that resources required for this chest are going to be the same, but probably for the stealth mission and maybe assault mission, the resources required to repair this chest are going to be a bit different. So I'm honestly going to just start doing these tasks like one by one, whatever. And the password is going to be still in the pine groove. Okay, so we're going to get that password from the pine groove. Hopefully I'm going to have enough energy. Like I still have 100 and whatever energy. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that that will be enough. Here we go. Boom. Couple of events have spawned. Like regardless, I'll have to go now back to the base. I'll have to bring like a bunch of hatchets with me for that event. Maybe I should have brought them already before I went to that prison. 
I just wasted like a little bit of energy. And I also want to show you my base here on this free to play account because I do know that a lot of you do not know it. So these are going to be all my healing items that I got. I don't have a lot of them, but uh, hey, that at least something probably better than nothing. Uh, I do have a lot of melee weapons here. I have some melee weapons here. I have a couple of melee weapons here. I have a little bit of guns here and the rest are just basically like armor, armor and whatever other stuff that we don't really care about. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go here to the radio tower. This event is going to be a lot harder. So I assume I'm going to bring like some first aid kits. I'm also going to take an AK with me because a lot of those guys are just going to spawn and uh, without the AK, killing all of them is going to be kind of hard. But again, I don't think AKs are going to be that hard even for newcomers. Just do like that bunker alpha one, two times or whatever. And uh, you'll be able to have enough of those AKs and uh, whatever other stuff. So I'm going to start sneaking behind, behind all of these fast biters and whatever other stuff because I do not want to waste any of my weapons. And here I don't have a lot of healing items. So healing items for me at least are going to be like the biggest bottleneck. So for some reason, for some reason, she keeps uh, aggroing all of these Zamzams. Well, at least that's pretty nice. At least these Zamzams aren't attacking me. So, so far it's really easy. I mean, the only problem that I have here is that most likely still, if we're going to do like entire heist here, rewards aren't going to be that worth it. But again, I just want to see how expensive all of this stuff is going to be. Like, I mean, so far we're just using only one durability pipe. I haven't used a single first aid kit. So I want to do it like the most efficient way possible. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do it like the most efficient way possible as I'm going to mess something up here for sure. I'm like 100% sure. Also, a lot of you told me that when you're doing like prison and that stealth mode, sometimes there are going to be mines and uh, you're just going to get unlucky and you might step on that mine or whatever. So I still haven't seen that stealth mission prison with the mines. So I have no idea how that stuff is going to look like. Okay, so we almost cleared this entire place. There are going to be a couple of uh, chests and sadly, I don't have a lot of hatchets at my base, but hopefully I'll be able to craft a couple of hatchets here in this base. Maybe there are going to be a couple of trees. Well, definitely, I chopped down a couple of trees here in this place. So let's start, being, uh, start chopping down these chests. I assume if I'm not going to chop them down right now, I'll have to chop them down later. And like those guys are going to spawn. So I don't think it's going to be that useful. I On my main account, I literally just guessed it. Because if, I probably if I'm going to touch like this radio tower, I'm not even sure if it's going to work. If I can touch this radio tower before I destroy these chests. But uh, yeah, whatever. Wait, I forgot to loot the stuff because on my main account, I do not take stuff from these chests, but I think on this account, it's going to be kind of worth it. And this is the reason why I have here two accounts, why I have like this free to play account, because it's a lot easier for me to know which rewards are going to be better, which rewards are going to be worth because it worse because on the main account, I have a lot of stuff and it's kind of hard to know which, what is good, what is bad. And here, for example, I can't take like a little bit of that glue or whatever, but I still think I have enough glue at the base regardless. So now I'm going to take like my AK. I should maybe even take here a shotgun, right? Do I need to bring any Anything else with me well we will see it's not gonna be that easy let's now activate like this thing guys and if I'm gonna die hey I'm gonna die but uh yeah I mean I'm just gonna try to go over here they're all gonna talk and I have no idea how to do it properly without me dying but uh, hey everything is easy yada yada she keeps talking we don't care about those dialogues I died last time because of reading these dialogues so maybe it's not gonna be actually that hard okay so I just wasted one first aid kit I know I know I know that's not too good that's not too good okay so let's deal with this raider wait are we gonna capture like this raider right now every time you capture like different raiders uh, okay, oh no, oh no, I'm wasting my- It's not that bad, dude! I just wasted like 30% of my AK durability. Did all of them die? All right, we won't have to come to terms with these. Uh, gotta trap new ones. What? So we have to call them once again? Are you kidding me? Oh, so we- That's why last time when I died, it worked. Okay, so... Whatever, more guys are gonna come in now. And now it is going to work. Okay, but the, this time they're gonna be a lot stronger. Okay, so I just healed up a little bit. And I'm gonna step away. And we will see. She's gonna definitely attack them. Here we go. Oh no, oh no, all of them are attacking. Gotta keep pay, to pay attention, gotta pay attention to my health. Here we go, gonna heal up. I do know that I wasted my first aid kit, but I honestly just do not wanna die here just like that. Okay, so without AKs, that would be harder. Maybe I should even use my sheer shotgun spread shots. But, uh, well, it's definitely not as bad as I think it is. Okay, so I don't wanna waste my first aid kits here anymore. We're gonna deal with this guy and he most likely is just going to give up. So here we go, he gave up. Wasn't that bad. I almost used entire durability AK here for this to save this guy, but it wasn't that terrible as I thought. You know, in my main account, I just take like full durability gun and that's it. I spam like those first aid kit. I hold like that gun and that's pretty much it. But here in this account, my AK misses. So I have to like spread it a little bit uh, and I have to walk around. So, I mean, it's okay. It's still not that bad. Still not that bad. I think this is the hardest task 
on this account so far. Okay, so I've done like two tasks here already. I destroyed the chest. I activated that thingy. Wait, I'm gonna also chop down a couple of more trees just for some wood because on this account, I literally have zero wood. So at least gonna chop down here a couple of woods. I'm, I'm still not sure if there will be another task where I'll require to destroy some more chests, but let's loot the chopper and I most likely forgot to bring some empty cans. Like, yes, empty cans on this account would be so nice. Oh my God, Sark, look at all your inventory here. How do you have so many items here? They're all co coming from like that pass when you start the game and probably from all the pre previous season passes. Also, we've gotten a gift, which is kind of okay. But even on this account, it's not really like that great. Hey, couple of food items. Yay, most likely. Thanks. So I've gotten a little bit. Wait, I'm going to get. Uh, oh, no, I cannot even take it. Well, I'm going to drink. I don't want to drink too much water as my dude will pee pee randomly, like spontaneously for no reason during the fight but i kind of need gasoline in this account so i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna just steal like a three at least like three bottles of gasoline probably better than nothing well definitely on this account i should be always bringing like at least 10 empty bottles with me like to all events as you can get get as you can get a lot of gasoline so there are only a couple of more tasks that i have to do i'm gonna go like here now to this power station hopefully i'm still gonna have enough items i didn't bring any stuff from my base so that i'd be able to go strict away here to the bikers camp as i still cannot repair that chest that didn't bring like any glue or whatever other stuff I needed. But so far it's fun. You know what? Doing uh, doing these tasks on this account is definitely kind of interesting. Just again, the biggest problem are like those rewards. Like it is so bad. It is so sad to see these rewards being so doo-doo. And a lot of people agree with this. Like seriously, a lot of people agree with that. Wait, I want to bring a Glock here. I don't want to waste my AK anymore, even though like that AK is almost broken, but whatever. Here goes. So he's going to start like these generators. That's pretty cool. Do I even have to go and fight all of these guys here? I mean, that would be probably better if we just go and fight the guys, right? So far, I didn't have to use a lot of... Wait, how many first aid kits did I use? Probably four first aid kits, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so let's deal with this floater bloater real quick. At least he's aggroing on this guy. So if you're gonna keep sneaking and you're gonna let your guy come first, he's gonna aggro a lot of these guys. So I just broke my first pipe here. So here we go. This is gonna be another pipe that I'm using. And again, when we are talking here that rewards are bad and whatever, I just don't want to spend like entire videos speaking about how rewards are bad. But like, honestly, I mean, it's kind of weird when... It this new season comes out, you know, it, players should be like, oh, yay, finally, new season is out, let's go get some more rewards, whatever, let's do finally something else, rather than just, like, that grinding, that bunker alpha, but it's, it's kind of the opposite, like, seasons force you to grind even more of those bunker alphas, because you have to go and get even more guns, and when we're gonna do, like, this event, we're not gonna get a lot of stuff here anyway, so what's the point even to do this event, you know, like, seasons should make you more rich, but instead, they just make you poorer. Like, what's the point to even grind this? I guess most of you understand what I'm trying to say here. Okay, so th this guy is going to go and try to repair that stuff. I'll obviously need to give him a screwdriver. So as soon as I maybe pick up that screwdriver, some of these guys are going to attack me. Here goes some more fast biters already attack me. Wait, I'm going to try to deal with them with my pipe. Okay, so there's three of them. Still not that big of a deal, except my this is going to be my second melee weapon that I'm breaking. And there are a couple of these crowd zombies coming in. Well, so far still, tasks aren't that hard, but look at all of the resources that I have to waste. I'm not going to get them back in return. That's the biggest... The biggest concern that I have. Why can't I just pick up all of these uh, items at the same time and give them to him? But whatever. Okay, so he's gonna start doing something else and most likely another wave of Zom Zoms is gonna spawn. If there's gonna be a lot of them, I do believe that it will be just better for me to... Wait, where was that hammer? I cannot see the hammer. But there are gonna be some of these guys coming in. I think that it's just better to use a Glock on them as I will save some more first aid kits. At least that's what I think. And as I said already, guns in this game aren't that hard if you know how to do that bunker alpha on this account. I have like entire playthrough on how I played on this account. I have maybe like 15 episodes of like free-to-play account or whatever. So he will also require probably a screwdriver. Wrench should be in the next room. Yes, we're gonna definitely take a wrench now. Uh, I want to deal like with this crowd Zamzam, and I'm gonna deal like with these fast biters because when they're attacking you three three Zamzams at the same time, it's not that worth it. They're gonna do a lot of damage. Okay, so but when there are a lot of those crowd Zamzams, I'm gonna be able to deal with them real quickly. But when there are those fast biters, I would suggest you probably just use your Glock. As you'll save some armor, you'll save some healing items. And also, there's a task where I have to do like 4,000 damage or something with a Glock or whatever. So that's why I am doing that task in the first place. Even though, again, season pass rewards are going to be like just a joke. We're going to get an energy drink. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so is that it? Is he going to be done with that stuff? Okay, ready. Time to leave. Okay, so dude, peace out. Goodbye. It was pleasant to work with you. Not really. 
but now we're gonna hop inside of like this thing. So we're also gonna now poison the water. This is gonna be another task and there are only two more tasks left, right? We'll have to poison the water, get the password and most likely we'll also, wait, what is another task to do? Um, I don't remember, I do know, the oh, repair that chest. Yeah, we'll have to repair the chest and craft like full whatever others said, but I don't think that's gonna be a big of a deal. Okay, so there's a tainter. I do wanna deal with that tainter with my Glock. I don't think he does a lot of damage, but hey, I, I brought a Glock here for a reason, just to save some first, uh, just to save some healing items. So that's what we're gonna do. Here we go, he's gonna start poisoning that stuff. Some of these dudes are gonna attack me again. I'm gonna use a Glock on these Swamp Zamzams and mixed in with a little bit of pipes here. That's cool. Okay, so this is gonna be the first thingy that he's gonna poison up. Here we go, he done that. I still have my pipe, I still have my Glock, but I'm kind of running out of my uh, first aid kits. I'm running out of my bandages. And I'm running out of my melee weapons. That's kind of sad. Wait, will I be able to hide behind the wall or whatever? Okay, so they're attacking him. That's cool. Hopefully, they're not gonna kill him. Wait, that's cool. That's really dope. That's really dope. I'm not getting a lot of damage because this guy came in first for some reason. So I didn't get a lot of damage for this. So here, I just opened it up. And we're gonna deal, like, with this swamp zombies. Wait, will I be able to maybe, like, hide behind the wall here or something? Oh yeah, you can even wall trick this one bloater. Yes, we're gonna definitely try to wall trick him here like that. Next time when I'll come here, I'll need to bring like more melee weapons because I'm literally, this is my last melee weapon. Oh, I'm gonna have a katana in my inbox that we've gotten uh, from that past. Plus I've uh, done some sort of a task here, whatever, let's take it. Then I'm gonna be able to get another Glock. Hey, that's dope. That's definitely dope. But hey, bring me, give me a katana from my inbox. And just as I said, like if we just gotten some more rewards from that season pass, that would have been a lot better. I really, I really can't comprehend why developers just don't add more stuff in the season pass. Like even the paid pass, don't get me wrong. Even paid pass is kind of useless. Like obviously it has the rewards here, but like even the paid pass isn't, isn't that amazing here this season. Like whatever. And I'm not the only one saying this. I've seen some people saying that as well okay so my armor is breaking that is not cool okay so i'm gonna deal with the screeper screaker here with my glock uh, just to save some more healing items here goes so there's another tainter wait will i be able to do that tainter with my uh dude why are you annoying me can you please oh my goodness like this guy who tried to help me out here he just disturbed me and also right now when you're trying to heal with food if you're gonna have like 100 food and 100 uh, i mean 100 thirst and 100 hunger you're not gonna be able to use your healing items i mean you're not gonna be able to heal with food so that's that's a huge nerf that's a huge nerf if you're just using uh, food items let's say to do bunker alpha oh no this guy is so annoying wait i think that here i'll have to use my glock here as uh, i'm kind of running out of bandages and bruh they're kind of tough. They're definitely kind of tough. Okay, so let's deal with this Screaker. Go to sleep, Screaker. Yes. Now there's going to be only like this uh, Swamp Bloater that I'll be able to completely wall trick. And again, I cannot wall trick because this dude just comes in front of me. He's so annoying. Like, dude, you're so annoying. Did I tell you that? You're really, really, really extremely annoying. Okay, so now he's going to go repair one more thing here. Yes. Not repair, but the poison the water. Go on, do it. Here goes some of these guys are just gonna attack us out of nowhere. Here go, gonna deal with a couple, couple of crawlers. Well, it's not really that bad if you just spawn, if you just go on top of them and you don't wait to fight them in that room, you get a lot less damage. I don't think I've gotten a single hit from these guys when they're crawling out, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so there's gonna be... Oh no, that didn't work, that didn't work. I tried to sneak behind that door, but kind of failed here. Okay, so I'm probably gonna do a little bit of uh, damage with my Glock, because I'm really running out of bandages. I don't want to waste my first aid kits on this thing. Here we go, another thing. Uh, are they gonna start crawling out of somewhere? Okay, cover my back. Okay, so they're gonna be crawling out of this place. Okay, cool, cool. We're gonna deal like with this crawler. We're gonna deal like probably with these two crawlers. And my armor is gonna break, baby, any moment. Well, it wasn't that bad, like three crawlers, whatever. Again, not super hard event, but as I said many times, it's not gonna be worth it. Do I have any armor in my inbox? I would love to have a little bit. Well, we have like this mask, baby. Yes, let's take it just literally for the armor protection. Just because of that. Well, here we go, gonna take paints as well. It's gonna be probably better than nothing because I'm not gonna have infinite energy to go back to the base or something. Face masks, it, it, this face mask is gonna protect me at least a little bit. So here go, two tasks done there, two tasks done there. There are only like three tasks basically left just to get the password, repair that chest, and that's it, right? So I'm gonna leave like this zone right now. Well, if I brought an extra set, I would be able now to go to the Pine Grove and get that password from that guy. But I do know that he's gonna be kind of tough and I don't really wanna go and fight him without any armor as I have armor at the base and I don't have a lot of healing items. And right now after that food nerf, healing items are a lot more important. Also, some people say that, hey, that healing uh, item nerf is kind of useful right now. It's getting more interesting. At least now I can use my bandages then. I mean, hey, you do you, boo-boo. For those people who think that the food nerf was bad, was good, then hey, feel free. 
to use your bandages, but for the rest of the players who use their healing items, it's really terrible as nothing got buffed, the food just got nerfed, so you'll just have to use your bandages basically for more situations, and that's it. Okay, so I'm almost done doing here everything. I even brought already like this entire reinforced armor, so this way I'll be able to go strict away to prison, but first things first, we gotta deal like with this guy in the pine grove. I also brought enough resources to repair that chest, and I'm so lucky that I have enough resources here to repair that chest, because I thought that I'm not gonna have, like, enough rubber parts or something, but hey, we had everything. I think I'm still gonna use my Glock, because I have a task to deal, like, 4,000 damage with that Glock, and what's up with the puddles? Did they add puddles to the game? Because before, there were no puddles here, but I can see puddles more and more frequently. Whatever, all I have to do is just find here some sort of a camp, and uh, that's it. I'm gonna get the password from that guy here. Go. This is gonna be the camp. This is gonna be the raider right here. Go. We're gonna deal with him just like this. Just like that. Another hit. Another hit. Another hit. Another hit. Here we go. Just healed up. Here we go. He's gonna run away. He's gonna run away. So I think I'll have to go and fight him with my Glock. I said that I'm gonna use my Glock, but for some reason I used another item. I have no idea. Okay, so let's deal with this raider. Oh no, more raiders are coming in. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me bro okay so we're gonna heal up here once again this dude go to sleep and another raider is gonna go to sleep so are we gonna get anything from him nothing literally nothing just bunch of broken weapons like how can it be why 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 we don't get any items from fighting them i don't get it i really don't understand whatever toxic spitter go to sleep sleep and there has to be like this guy somewhere here because that's where he ran right no i don't get it where he is i don't understand baby i oh, know this is just a simple deer where is that dude? Where is that dude? Okay, so this is gonna be a roaming Zom Zom. Did he run away here? I don't understand. Where did that guy go? Well, I'm now just trying to sneak behind all of these dudes and see where he could have went. Doesn't look like he went there. I don't think... Okay, he's not there as well. Is he gonna be somewhere here then? This task is definitely kind of hard as well as you need like some guns to waste on that guy as well. So it's already like all of the guns that are wasted here. It's already most likely not worth the rewards that I'm gonna get from the prison if I'm gonna like steal five boxes and I'll be able to open up like six crates there, which I don't think we'll be able to do. Plus, it's so easy to mess up the prison location, so it's already not worth it. <laughs> it's already not worth it, bro. Okay, so maybe he's gonna be over here. Is that him? Yeah, this is gonna be the guy. Okay, so let's start shooting him once again. Here we go. He's dead. Boom. That's it. We cannot pick his armor up. We just got in like that password so that we'd be able to open up like those crates. When there's gonna be like that terminal, most likely this is where we're getting the password from. Here we go. I've gotten the password from this guy. And it's so weird. I really don't want to sound like, hey, this entire video is just me complaining about the rewards, guys. But just think about it. What's the point? You know, they're introducing the season so that it would be fine. But like, this is the fun, right? Here we go. The energy drink, baby. Or the tactical boots. Wow, this is literally a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun, right? <laughs> you prepare so many tasks for the prison and you get nothing in return. I mean, I'm just disappointed. But am I surprised? No, guys, I'm honestly completely not surprised. It's still one of the best seasons uh, we've had in the game. I had the wrong screenshot opened up and I didn't bring the required the right resources. I brought resources from my... Oh my goodness. Because I took those pictures on my main account as well and I needed different resources. Okay, so we definitely need to do it. Wow, that's sad. So finally I'm back at this location and we're gonna do that prison heist really, really soon. Let's just finish up here. The task, baby, boom. Let's finalize this chest. Here we go, guys. All of the tasks are completed. And all I have to do now is just talk to Razor. Wait, maybe there are gonna be mines if you don't complete some tasks here. Maybe that's why some people had mines on the floor. Maybe, maybe, whatever. We're gonna start, guys, the robbery. That's it, baby, boom. I'm gonna equip, like, this armor here. And uh, let's just hope, let's honestly hope that I'm not gonna mess it up. Wait, I came here with my bike. Did my bike just disappear? Where is my bike? I came to this location with my bike, baby. Because I do know that you need your bike to get like an extra chest i think you can bring your bike closer to that gate because a lot of you told me that you can use your chopper to steal that chest so probably it's gonna work but again i didn't take my bike with me why why where's my bike where's my i don't have any gasoline even to bring that bike with me wow that's cool that's cool i brought here i came with the bike but the bike didn't travel with me well we're gonna go without the bike then because i don't have any gasoline for that bike amazing amazing that's so sad well, we will see how that prison location is gonna go because I'm really interested. I think uh, people were talking about mines and whatever other stuff. Maybe if you don't finish all the tasks. I think you need to finish all the tasks and then there will be no mines. But uh, I might be completely wrong. I might be completely mistaken. But regardless, here we go. I have my armor. So where are gonna be the guys? Okay, so there's one chopper, second chopper. So here we go. There are gonna be like four choppers. And on the very, very down... Uh, wait, there's no more choppers, right? That's it. There's only four choppers here that I'll be able to steal. 
Uh, so I can only steal four crates and that's it. The fifth crate is gonna be kind of harder. So I'll have to use most likely my guns on these like zombie officers. I think I can even sneak behind all of them if I'm not mistaken, right? Wait, I'm gonna deal with those guys and I'm gonna try to sneak past them. Is that gonna be possible? Is that gonna be possible? Because there is no way I need to find all of them, right? What's the point to fight them? So yes, if you're gonna go like uh, in this place with the guns blazing mode, uh, you'll be able to bring a bomb to that door. But now uh, I have to wait. How do I come inside? Okay, so I'll have to fight a couple of these guys. Did I bring any melee weapons? Well, I did bring a melee weapon over here, so I'm gonna deal like with this jailbird, and another jailbird is gonna come in. Wait, deal, gonna deal with this guy, gonna deal with this guy, and that is pretty much it. Wait, we're gonna just hop back, uh, gonna hop inside of these sewers, and I'm gonna hope that this time I'll be able to sneak throughout this entire pre prison, and I'm not gonna fight a single guy there, just as I had to do on my main account because I'm. My main account for some reason I made a mistake. Okay, there is a swamp bloater, baby. There is a swamp bloater. Can I like wall trick him here on this corner? Here, nope, it's not gonna work. It's definitely not gonna work out. Okay, so I have to deal with them. Well, I'm hoping my armor isn't gonna break, that this armor is gonna last at least a little bit. Oh, that's what you told me because you told me that I had to go around this place, otherwise, there's gonna be like big pile of goop, and I had no idea about that. But hey, so I have to go through this place now. Let's go like that, baby. Let's do some damage to this guy. Oh, I can sneak behind that guy. Awesome. Can I sneak like... Oh, no, I wasn't able to sneak behind that dude. That's sad. Whatever. Dealt with one guy. Gonna deal with another swamp bloater. Gonna pick up a little bit of garbage because who knows what kind of resources I'll require next time. Okay, let's sneak behind like this, like that. Gonna do a little bit of damage to this swamp bloater. For some reason, that other guy does not see me. So I kind of like it. I, I appreciate that glitch. I definitely appreciate that glitch. No more melee weapons. Do I have a single melee weapon in my inbox? I would definitely use it. A guitar... A guitar, dude? Uh, I mean, how much damage does it do? 20 damage, baby. In the face. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I mean, guitar is a pretty nice weapon <laughs> as well. Let's use it here just like that. I mean, I don't care about, like, those whatever weapons. I don't think they're useful anyway, so let's just use them up. Well, hopefully I have here the right armor. Everything is okay, and I'm not gonna get shredded into tiny smithereens. Because some people keep telling me that, hey, for some reason they keep attacking you no matter what. Uh, if, you, if you spawn in this place, they start attacking you, and I have no idea why they do it. I literally have no idea why they do it. Maybe we have to sneak because some people said if you start running, it's not gonna work out. So maybe I have to stay here like this in the corner and then I have to sneak like behind most of these these guys. I mean, I'm gonna do the same thing as I've done on my main account. So here we go. I'm gonna go over here. Maybe if you're gonna like stay in their face for a long time, their suspicious meter is gonna raise. I have no idea, but I'm basically gonna do the same thing as I've done on my main account. You just don't run, just sneak behind them and everything should be fine. I'm just waiting until another guy is gonna go back to that place and then I'm gonna start sneaking there once again. I don't see any mines here. Maybe mines aren't even here. But, uh, yeah, whatever. Now at least I know where I have to go. Okay, so this guy is gonna say that I look suspicious. Not a big deal. Here we go. Let's go there now. Everything is fine. Just there's another another thing that I gotta do. I gotta open up the door, but there's a guy patrolling this place, and sometimes you're gonna open up the door strict in his face. At least that's what I think. That's what happened to me almost last time on my main account, so I have no idea how it's gonna happen. Okay, so I'm gonna try to open up like this door. Yes, I got lucky. I got very lucky. I got very lucky. So this guy's gonna start patrolling. I'm now checking minimap. And we will see how it's gonna go. Wait, I'm gonna stay over here. As soon as he turns around, uh, I'm gonna hop inside of that prison. Right, guys? Let's hop inside of the prison, baby. Let's hop inside of the prison. Here we go. I'm gonna stay here. Go just like that. Please tell me he's not gonna notice me. Here we go. He did not notice me. He's gonna stay like there. That's very dope. That's very dope, bro. Let's open up the door up. Oh no, oh no, I just moved. You have to be kind of sneaky about this. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Just as I've done last time. I'm gonna go just like this. Okay, so so far... Well, I'm gonna try to do it once again then. We'll see if it's gonna work. Maybe the guys inside are gonna be annoyed. Oh yeah, the guys inside are angry then. Because I aggroed all of the guys inside and that's not cool at all. That's not cool at all. Do I just take them out one by one here like that? Pop him right now like here like this. That's it, I popped him and the rest of the guys just saw me here. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to fight them here like this with healing items. This is just a waste of resources. This is just waste of the few resources that I got. Okay, so my healing items, baby. My healing items, my healing, my armor, my armor here. Why did I even come here, dude? Oh my goodness. Let's deal with this guy and let's deal now. Here we go with this raider rookie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That's that's sad. That's sad. And they're not dropping anything. This is this is probably even more annoying. I'm out of all the healing items. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this event once. 
Otherwise, it's not going to be worth it at all. <laughs> Let's go further away. Did all of them get out of the prison? Nope, they did not. So they're going to keep sneaking. I have no idea. Okay, so the guy just still keeps walking, right? He's red and whatever, but there's nothing I can do about it. Wait, I'm just going to wait. Maybe I'll still be able to sneak at least through most of these guys. Maybe that will work out at least something, but it's already not worth it. This event is completely not worth it at all. Even if I succeeded, it wouldn't be worth it. But right now, it's just disgusting. Whatever, let's try to hop inside. In any case, I still have 13 first aid kits. So we will see how that thing is gonna work out. Right here, go the guy's just going there. Some of them are gonna start attacking me. Okay, so Raider, Roki, okay, so he's attacking me. Another one is attacking me. My first aid kits, baby. E oh my goodness, they have so much armor, bro. They have so much armor. Oh no, here we go, we gotta fight the bone breaker. Oh no, another guy is attacking me in the face with a stupid shotgun. Only five first aid kits and I just died with a shotgun like that. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. I used everything that I had, guys. I used everything. Okay, so they started attacking me even through the fence. Already to die! Why didn't- Oh, I didn't have any healing items. That's why. Oh my god. After you die, they don't re-aggro. They still stay aggroed on you. So I cannot go and do that prison once again if I die there. That's the biggest problem for me. For some reason, I don't get it. Why? Because the guys in, like, in front of the prison, they're fine. They're gonna re-aggro. They're not gonna remember you after you die. But those guys inside of the prison, because the first time when I died inside of the prison there, they stayed red and they stay there red all the time for some reason. I don't get it. Why? All of the guys are there. Why? Wow. And again, it's my fault. I just screwed up this sneaking mission. I'm not saying that, hey, the mission is here, whatever. But the rewards are so bad that I understand now why so many people messed it up. And I just messed it up accidentally. I was scrolling out. I opened up the door and my guy just stood up and I did a small little step and that's it. And I just screwed up this entire mission. These guys are useless. They're not helping me at all. All I'm just saying is that so much stress, so much work here for nothing, for no rewards. It's just a joke. It's just a pure joke. I know that I failed it and it's like my complete fault, but still, as I said, rewards here are just complete pure joke. Hi, hi, listen, just to check out my Resident Evil 3 Remake Let's Play, or click here on the second card and you'll go to my Minecraft with RTX video. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely be sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep.